Generating electricity is the first link in the electrical chain, but delivering it efficiently and using it effectively are both difficult. Most would agree that the incandescent light bulb was a brilliant idea, simple, elegant, and, of course, illuminating. But this brilliant idea also has a dark side. If coal is the fuel burned in a power plant, fully 65% of the energy is lost right at the source. Another 3% is lost during transmission to your home. Of the energy that does reach the light bulb, almost all is wasted as heat. Less than 2% of the original energy from the coal is actually converted into light. To light just one 100-watt incandescent bulb around the clock for a year, you have to burn a third of a ton of coal. Coal that has to be mined and shipped to the power station, requiring even more energy. By switching to a compact fluorescent bulb, we reduce the amount of energy required, but the bulb is still wasting 30% of the energy it draws as heat. No matter which light bulb we use, underlying inefficiencies in our system contribute massively to the CO2 problem, such as phantom power loss. Electronic equipment in our homes and offices that are on standby, like TVs, stereos, and computers, are using energy every minute of every day, collectively pulling a full 8% of available electricity out of the grid. We are wasting energy as heat, using energy we don't really need, dissipating energy through the grid, and losing energy at the source. Right now, the world is struggling to produce 22 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity each year to power almost every aspect of our lives. By 2030, we could save more than 50% of our CO2 emissions just by plugging the inefficiencies energy that could be used to help satisfy the world's growing demand for power. What we need now are brilliant new ideas to shed more light on how to become more efficient and find much better ways to produce, deliver, and use electricity.